Okay, it seems uh, Gillard is out there on the uh, trail trying to drum this into people's heads. She just can't get it through her thick head that Australians know what know what's going on and they don't want this carbon tax. But she, her and Swan and uh, Rudd and Bob Brown must hate Australia and hate Australians for what they're trying to do to us. And to all those people out there that they are promising money to and tax cuts and all the rest, let me tell you something, even if they gave you $5,000 in your hand, it will not make up for what you are going to be spending in the long run just trying to keep warm because the fuel over here, the price of heating over here, the electricity over here is absolutely through the roof through the roof. I just have a normal house here. I don't run anything massive. The most I ever have going is my computer. My bill is over $500 every time it comes in. Over $500 and that's going to go through the roof. So no matter what this supercilious twat gives us, it will never make up for in the long run because we are going to be screwed to the wall. The sooner I see the back end of this What I really want to call her, I don't, because I swear a lot on here, you have no idea what I think of this woman. She is just absolutely despicable. And that Penny Wong is right behind her, and she was right behind Kevin Rudd all the way along. So she has got as much to answer for. She's nothing but a liar. Penny Wong and Julia, Julia Gillard, Kevin Rudd, Bob Brown, all an ignorant pack of twats and CSIRO need to be brought to, to bear on what they are putting in front of us and these lies they are telling us because if they're the ones that are saying this is true then, then they're the liars. Sorry my camera's going all over the place. The other thing was I was watching this program last night it's a new program called um, let me think for a second while I remember what it was. I remember it was called Can of Worms and on it it was a question something to the effects do you think that the broker is out of place in Australia or whatever and what they did was they got this guy and they gave him three outfits a koala bear outfit a Jedi outfit and a um, burka and they put him in each of these costumes with a sign saying free hugs and this young girl went up to him when he was dressed in the burqa and said oh have you got a bomb hidden under there now this is propaganda and it's it's worked it's what they needed it to do it worked and that's what people think they see an arab they see the burqa they think people are walking around with bombs under them it's just the propaganda nazis have put this out you know, and it's like I was watching TV one day and this woman's they said, oh, do we need more security at the airport? And she goes, oh, yes, yes, we can't have too much, put more security in. For what? Stand there and think to yourself, why do we need more security? Nothing ever happens over here. You know, that they don't have to do anything to us to try and sell this to us because we're just so gullible. We just walk into it and go, yes, please bring in the full body scans and probe me from top to bottom. That's fine. I'm going to enjoy that because it's going to make me safer. I'm safe now without it. They, it absolutely infuriates me, this propaganda that they've put through. And she was a classic example. They think that you see people walking around in burkas or whatever, that they're immediately, you know, they're bombs and they want to out to kill us. And it's just a big f fucking propaganda spiel. And it just pisses me off. Um... Whether they wear a burqa or not, I couldn't care less. Just, uh, you know, I'm an atheist, so you know where I stand on there. If they want to walk around here, to, but the other thing about that is too, if they talk to me and they got a burqa on, I want them to remove it simply because we're animal, we're from the animal world. We do our life where we have these instincts. So when we talk to people, we pick up on their face, their expressions what sort of person they are. It's instinctual. It's what we do. If they're covered, we can't see that. The other thing is, fine, they want to wear them, that's fine. But if we have to take our hats off in any of these clubs or what, whatever, they take theirs off too. There's no uh, double standards here. I don't give a shit what religion you're from. There is no double standards here. 
But apart from the condition they wear them, I don't care. Go ahead. You know, it's Australia. It gets 40 degrees in summer. You want to wear that shit? Go ahead. Do it. Um, a joke for you. Well, sort of a question. If Gillian Gil Julia Gillard, Kevin Rudd, Bob Brown, Penny Wong, and Wayne Swan all jumped out of a plane at exactly the same time, who would hit the ground first? Who cares? <laughs>